Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Monday the 16th of April and this is my daily stock signals video taken from our members area where our members get signals for both long and short on weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames for trading the fifth wave of an Elliott wave sequence which is the highest probability move in a trend. So in the members area, very, very simple, potential long trades, potential short trades. Click on long trades as an example. Members click on the image and download the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet looks something like this. And this is for the long trades for today, for the 16th of April. And I've chosen 60 minute time frame gone a little bit different. I've been uh, looking at dailies and weeklies for a while. I've gone for a potential long trade uh, for the 60 minute on Starbucks. So let's have a look at the chart. So this is the 60 minute chart for Starbucks um, on our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave 5 Trade for the Ninja Trader platform. We do produce it for Thinkorswim, TradeStation and multi charts. So for those members uh, and people looking at this video that have our indicator suite, the way I've isolated the bar count is very simple. I've isolated it at the lows here around about the 2nd of April. Since then, we've had an impulse leg wave one. It's pulled back on a wave two. We've had a long wave three and a wave four pullback. So very, very simple. Our indicator suite automatically labels the waves. In conjunction now with our membership for the scanner results, we have a potential fifth wave trade. So let's just zoom in there, go through the filters for the scan results, and then we will go on to entry strategy. So first of all, the 535 oscillator, the green and red oscillator here, um, the the pullback in the oscillator is between 90 and 140%. So that's a big tick in the box. That's one of the filters on the uh, membership service. Also, the stochastic has pulled back against a false breakout dots here on our indicator suite and crossing over in the oversold zone. Another one of those filters. Also, the fourth wave has pulled back into one of our automated probability zones. So this is our pullback zone and it's found support initially now in the green zone. So this has got an 85% probability of going on to make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue around about 60, 50, something like that. So as you can see here, we've got a de decent risk reward, gone reasonably aggressive with the entry here, guys. Um, I want to make the most of it. We've just got to be careful of gap ups on a Monday uh, when, you know, the weekend we've had uh, Syria uh, targeted strikes, all that sort of thing, fall out of that, so it could gap up, gap down. But we've just got to get the trades ready for Monday for the session there. So we have an entry outside of our 6 4 moving average high, this green moving average here, which is our typical entry strategy. So for the first hour, uh, of Monday's session, we are outside of the 6 4 moving average at 59.51. So 59.51 is the entry. The stop loss is just below the wave 4 here. So we're talking around about 58.94, 58.93, something like that for the stop loss. And then the target's around about 60.50. So as you can see here, we have a 1 to 1.6 risk to reward into our target zone uh, from our entry, including our stop loss. So a decent risk reward, potentially a good fifth wave move long on Starbucks on the 60 minute. So we didn't really get much of a, a move on Friday. But what we did is we dropped down and, cu and caused this wave four, and then we basically moved around this support level. Didn't didn't break it in the last hour, and we got a little a good uh, solid green bar on uh, the last hour for Friday. So that looks encouraging. Again, I don't know what's going to happen um, because of the news, but we've just got to set these potential longs up. And this is a good looking one for Starbucks on the 60 minute. So that's it for today. Have a great training day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.